Hey guys, today I'm going to be checking out Bazir. This is a twin stick action arcade shooter. Um, before I start, I'm already level 6. I played it a little bit before and I already have these upgrades. There's an upgrade tree here where you can uh, assign skill points to upgrade your weapons or defense. So, just showing you that and let's cut play. 100 years ago today, I was born inside a computer. This game is very similar to Geometry Wars and its uh, style and the way you play. When you kill an enemy, you collect these little blue orbs and they essentially give you it essentially gives you a higher uh, multiplier. There's an auto aim ability um, that you can use anytime but you can only use it for a few seconds before it overheats and then you have to go back to your main weapon. It's useful for uh, getting out of difficult situations and for attacking the uh, faster enemies later on. So this radar is on the hood at all times and it pretty much shows you where enemies are and where your objectives are. So I'm following, following the yellow marker to attack the shield. On each level you have to do this, you have to go to the yellow markers and destroy all the shields before the time runs out. So I got an ability, I think it's called Bleed, it will attack all enemies uh, in my little radius and usually kills the weaker ones, so I'll use that in a second. Okay, there's my shield. I'm gonna go down here and use my ability. So as you can see, it's they just destroyed about half the enemies on the screen. Bait ball. I'm not really sure what bait ball is. I'll we'll try it out in a second. So when I get hit, I lose uh, the ouch. The ouch meter is on the bottom, and the lower the ouch meter, the less uh, damage I do. So I constantly have to refill that by getting green orbs or by destroying the green objectives. So I'm gonna go up there and show you what that's like. Here's the little uh, thing I was talking about that gives you plus 50. Ouch! Which pretty much gives your damage back to max. Oh, I just leveled up. So I can spend a skill point. I'm gonna spin it on raise firefly ammo and fuel. Let's do that. So you can get these little companions that will, that are these little uh, triangle things right beside me, there's one. Um, you get those from destroying asteroids, and I passed one up earlier. But you see that little triangle thing circling around me and shooting missiles, and that guy's on my side. Let's go destroy this objective over here. I'm going to use my ability, Let's see what that does. I'm not entirely sure what what it did. Oh, it exploded. Okay, it's sort of like a bomb, I suppose. This ability is kind of like a force field. It'll kill anything that tries to get inside of it. How um, it essentially makes enemies flee from you for a short while. Okay, so in the top right corner is the time limit. Um, you have to kill all the objectives before that time limit reaches zero. And around 20 seconds on each level, uh, this boss guy will appear and you have to run from it. You can't kill it yet, but you can kill it later on in the game. You kind of just uh, stay away from it, it does a lot of damage. Major Domus. There you go. Here's the second level. Now you can kind of see on the bottom my uh, 
Infinite Meter, which is pretty much my multiplier, that will go up as I keep collecting the orbs. And the max is 10, I believe. Shield up. Let's go kill this asteroid first. Got your little companion. Oh, I think I got it though. Oh yeah, I did. I see it. Got some missiles. Let's fire some missiles out. Okay, the objective appeared. So far, I've been really enjoying it. It's, uh... I was a big fan of Geometry Wars 2, and this game reminds me... reminds me of that. But it's a lot more flashy, and there's a lot more enemy types. And the soundtrack is way better. <laughs> the soundtrack of this game is really cool, I like it. It's pretty epic. Oops, got hit. A lot of damage there. Ooh! Man, lost a lot of uh, my damage there. I'm going to go ahead and go to one of the green areas on the map. And try to uh, get back some of my damage. My ouch. That's one. There we go. Back to max. Oh my gosh, these guys are destroying me. Get it here. The yeah, asteroids give you a lot of uh, multiplier gems. Okay, so I need to destroy one more objective, I believe. Ooh, what is going on? <laughs> I lost track of my uh, ship during that. That was a lot of uh, explosions. Got an achievement. Every time you get an achievement, it gives you a little bonus as well. Okay, I just run again. I'm forgetting to use my uh, auto aim. Maybe use it more. Underground and deep. It was built in the last days of the physical, a sanctuary from the bedlam above. Kind of uh, describing the story each level you go to. Um, I'm probably wrong here, but from what I got out of the first like five levels is that some people made some sort of machine that can like digitize yourself into the computer, sort of like the Matrix, and they did this to escape some sort of enemy on the outside world. I could be wrong though. I didn't get that far in the game, so I might be completely off on that. Start to destroy those objectives. Over here. The radar is kind of getting distorted a little bit. Oh, I guess if you leave the circle, it gets uh, a little distorted. Pick up. There's a hardcore mo mode that is a lot harder than what you're seeing here. It's sort of like the easy mode. Uh oh, critical, ouch. Not really sure what that did, but I will.
sorry if I'm not talking too much. I like to focus on these types of games. Lots of stuff going on at once. Hard to keep track of everything. Ooh, I just ran this one. This is freeze. It freezes people in place for like five seconds. Freeze ability. I need to hurry up and kill these uh, objectives and kind of get sidetracked here. So much stuff on the screen. I wonder what tower does. I haven't gotten that ability before. Oh, that's cool. You pretty much place a turret on the ground and it shoots everything nearby. That's really awesome. Okay, it's almost over. Corner, there's some slots, and I can have more than one firefly, so that's cool. Let's place another turret here. Let's go for the objectives now. Ooh, I that guy. You can die. It's kind of a uh, sort of vague on how you can die, though. I believe it's when your ouch meter goes all the way down, but I could be wrong. I know you have shields, but I think the little dots above the middle uh, circle on the bottom are your shield, and I think you only get hit like three times before you start getting critical damage, although I'm still not really sure, I'm certain on that. So this ability is kind of cool, you have like a little rope with a ball on the end of your ship, and you can swing it around and hit enemies with it. And if I use the ability, it'll get longer and kind of spin around on its own. Let's go to the next uh, little objective. Down here. There it is. Whoa. So I'm using it. <laughs> I spun it around and destroyed it. But I did take a lot of damage because I was a little bit too close. That's alright. Three more. Missiles. Ah oh, man, I'm doing pretty bad. I'm not sure what those red circles are, but I'm just going to avoid them anyway. They don't look any good to me. Oh. Ouch. Let's 
Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh, I'm getting hit. <laughs> Crap, a ton of damage there. Okay, I need to go back this way. It's going the wrong way. That should be everybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on this level it gets a little bit harder and starts shooting missiles at you. Maybe not. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So he's shooting little, uh, glowing things at me. Level 8. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna do boost this time. And done. I got a little bit faster. This is not the end. Once inside, the work continued. I love all the variety of enemies. Like, each level seems to uh, introduce a new enemy type. Stunned by that guy. That snake looking thing. Ouch. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about this. This is a rage. Pretty much makes you invincible and allows you to do auto aim as much as you want and shoots uh, stronger bullets, not your blaster. Pretty cool little power up there. Only lasts like 10 seconds though. I forgot what bait ball did, let's see. Oh, it attracts enemies to it and then it explodes. There we go. Yeah. Such a flashy game. I like the neon colors. Any game with like this style of just very bright, uh, like neon colors, I enjoy. That's it. Uh oh, Man, quite a few times there. Power ability. Alright, I think I killed all the objectives, and now I'm just waiting for judgment. I think I'm gonna conclude. No physical. Uh, I think I'm gonna conclude uh, part one here after I get, uh, get away from this boss. Uh oh, uh oh, crap! It's pulling me in. <laughs> I need to get away.
But yeah, after this stage, I'm going to conclude this video, and I'm probably going to make a part two, so if you want to see more, be sure to By check into that. genetic Vizier theory, virtual life could reproduce. Our colony grew from thousands into millions.